So first of all, I'm welcoming everyone uh, to this uh, new workshop series that is going to ha happen that is uh, regarding VRA and post production in Photoshop. Uh, this is uh, done by Arc Studio and I am Silasis. I'll be a mentor for today's uh, this series series workshop. Cool. So VRA is basically I'll start off uh, with uh, what VRA is and then I will tell you the difference between the render engine and a plugin and then I'll go on to why we need to use VRA and then its limitations and also we will then look into what we uh, how to install the trial version of VRA and uh, then so that you can use that as your way of uh, using this course that uh, the work workshop that we are going to have. Okay, so first of all, what exactly V-Ray is? V-Ray is basically a plugin or any add up. Like if you are, if you were there in my SketchUp workshop, you will understand what a plugin is. Plugin is a set of series of uh, codes that is being designed so as to work for a specific to work in a specific manner so as to get an output okay so it is a function that is being used for example if you have a line command what it does in autocad if you know it's a line command if you give means it will be used for drawing a command such that a plugin is something like that if, if you want to draw a, a if you want to render or if you want to do some functions this is a set of code that is helpful in doing that so vray is something like that which is added up onto the softwares like revit sketchup uh, rhino etc by architects and interior designers so as to create a photo realistic image if you know the presently in the firms that have been uh, called out uh, most of the firms uh, looks up into this render software that is vire or corona because these two render softwares are uh, provides really good uh, photo realistic image outputs or uh, the the quality of render that has been brought out by this uh, render engines are really good okay then uh, this is our 10 days workshop that will be there for architecture civil interior designers and 3d visualizers uh, so that you guys can become into a level where which you could take off okay so that is what is my aim so as to uh, do this uh, workshop in this workshop uh, uh, we will have first we will have a set of uh, uh, we'll do what vire can do we will we'll learn vire about vire and then we will go into photoshop where in which in photoshop i will be teaching how you could render a plan then i'll also teach you how you could basically format a sheet and properly put all these stuffs into it and also some post productions that are of vray that could be done so as to get a realistic image output that is possible so these things will be covered in this workshop so uh, this is basically a uh, if you are if you were there in my sketchup workshop you understand that i always tell that there's a lot of many softwares that is being used so if you always want to uh, know more about these softwares or you need to know about uh, about the workflows that is being used or which softwares you need to learn and you can uh, refer my sketchup uh, sketchup video which is there in the uh, youtube channel so uh, so that you can understand how i am going to classify the next place that is if you go to see these are the four typologies or the, the classification that I have done so that you guys can use the softwares that is in the next image you can see that uh, this is like I cl classified it into four different parts one is a 2d modeling or the drafting that you call then we can go into a 3d modeling place and then we can go into something called the rendering and then the post production so what we would be discussing majorly in this workshop is regarding rendering and post production because 3d modeling was covered in the sketchup workshop and most of the students as i've told the uh, small prerequisite was you need to know a basics of sketchup so as to do a v-ray out in this um uh, in this workshop cool so uh, that's what uh, i would be uh, doing uh, for this and uh, the things uh, if so for uh, if you could see that the last two parts that has been here the rendered image and the sheets I'm I'll make sure that you guys would be in a position so as to create something like this as an output okay this is my own sheet that has been used on our uh, of, uh, of architecture design 5 of sixth semester okay so you would be in a position so as to do something like this uh, at the end of this workshop and then we'll let me come on to what is a render engine and a render, a render plugin 
so most of you have heard about lumion and uh, lumion so most of my students have all, always come to up to me and asked oh, what uh, you need to learn whether you need to learn v-ray or should i learn lumion directly so the answer is these two are two different typologies okay according to me these two are two different typologies of render uh, renders uh, render produ production uh, software as you can tell because one is a render engine render engine is a specific software you can tell that is a single entity by itself okay so that what it does is that it you need you can basically expo you need to import any model into that software okay that is you if you are having any 3d model that is being made in sketchup or you have made any any model in your rhino or uh, revit you need to export that entire 3d model into the software of lumion okay that then and then you need to render it so lumion these render software uh, render engine softwares would be really good at doing walkthroughs okay uh, rather than creating uh, so they will be really good at production of videos okay rather than product producing any sort of still image and then if i go to what is one as a render plugin it's basically an add up to the software that you are using that is sketchup or revit or rhino it will be just an additional entity that has been added to the software so as to create the render what is the plus point of this is that you can save the time of exporting the model into these uh, into the render engine okay like lumion the time that has been taken so as to take uh, take to that uh, the next software could be basically uh, reduced for example if you are having a heavy model if you are making something like a urban planning or so there is a really big model the problem that occurs is that when you export it, it will take around one hour or so so as to export this image itself so you could basically save that if you are using this sort of v-ray v-ray plugins or so they are also a drawback that i will tell that is v if, if enscape it is possible to make walkthrough but v-ray what is the problem with v-ray of doing walkthrough is that v-ray needs additional backup of a uh, of a video editing software like premium pro or um, uh, or vsdc or any other sort of uh, video editing software so as it to make a uh, make a animation or the walkthrough that we call okay so that is one limitation that v-ray has so i i, uh, I would not be teaching about animations in v-ray rather i have give you guys i have given you guys an offer of uh, uh of having you can you guys can have come into my lumion live class without paying any money zero rupees you guys can come for the lumion for knowing how you could work on lumion or so because i feel really bad when because i'm not teaching the animation in v-ray for you guys so that i'm planning to give you guys you can you guys can directly come for the lumion live class without uh, without any problem okay so for who all have registered for my V-Ray workshop, you guys can come directly to that Lumion workshop as well. Fine. So that you guys can learn walkthrough as well in uh, in Lumion. And uh, next is why V-Ray. So V-Ray is a V-Ray is a commercial plugin for third-party 3D computer graphics software application. This is really technical. Since simple language, it is an add-up that has been used in the software so as to produce the render that's it okay and the second is the lighting and the shadows that the v-ray provides it is unparalleled to any other render a render engine render softwares that is being used okay i guarantee that because the lighting and the shadows work is really good and if you are a person who is doing something like an interior design or so there is no other competitor for v-ray in this cases that uh, that is for sure and the reason is that it use it it is having a option that could use both your cpu as well as a gpu for example i am using asus rock which has a intel core i7 and a geforce gtx okay so what your lumion or some other software does is that it just uses your graphic cards that is a gpu okay so uh, what v-ray could do is that v-ray can use both your uh, both your cpu as well as a gpu so as to create the render so the render output will be faster okay compared to other render engines so that is what is a really good plus point of v-ray 
and uh, Vira has one more plus point that is it is highly host supported. You have different types of Vray that could be exclusively for uh, like if you know one Vray, you can basically learn it for if you know for SketchUp, it's the same for Revit, it is the same for uh, 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 Rhino. So you just need to add in this Vray and you have lo large compatibility of it to different different softwares when uh, compared to softwares like Enscape or so. And then you are having more control over the softwares or the models that has been created. Because once you export the model in uh, to some other render engines like Lumion, what happens is that then you can't edit it. Okay, then if you think that you need to change anything in the model, then you need to delete the model or you need to export something else to the to the pro. So it is really uh, uh, not controllable. Uh, the the model could not be customized according to your wish when you start rendering. So Vray provides that facility also that you could basically customize during your uh, uh, during the time of rendering as well. So that is one plus point that again uh, uh, v has. And uh, the uh, last is it has uh, some sort of a cloud, uh, 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 a storage, uh, extra storage type memory system that has been used. Okay. So that is uh, what v is. And that is what comes to the, this is what I needed to tell to you guys as a uh, uh, v there is introduction class these are the stuffs that you just needed to know and uh, so uh, regarding how to uh, download vray you can basically uh, type vray for sketchup trial version free trial uh, so you will get the first option just click on that and uh, then you can just go for a download trial and from here you just need to sign in okay just sign in so from here you can basically try which one you are i'll just try it with my google account continue with google our foundations and last for the company if you want you can then just type create account go okay uh, so you can just start trial from this and it will basically ask for the verification code basically you can enter your phone number and then you will ask for a role just type what you are basically used for means what is your role as a student or architect or so then choose the type of like now i am just uh, using uh, my phone number that is 6238 getting the verification code So you can basically try and then you can basically select what is your tool of choice whether it is architecture then you can uh, check what type then you can just type architect and then you can continue you can say from here you can basically type select which one you want you if you are choosing v-ray then you can see 3ds max maya sketchup rhino revit which one you are using you can say you can go for sketchup which i am going to teach you for sketchup itself if it will be the same, but uh, I am using for SketchUp, so SketchUp you can do and continue it. Then it will ask download the trial. From here, just download it. You will uh, get the VRA. Just need to install it. Fine. Cool. Just click on it. It will start around. It's around like 600 MP or so. The file sizes. So after downloading, if you come to your SketchUp file, you will see these four steps coming up. Cool. So v for utility is not required. The rest three will be would be there. Okay. If you are downloading something like a lower version, that will be v utility will not be there. The rest will be this one. Got it? Cool. So that will be basically being used. So that's what I wanted to tell to you guys regarding this class. Okay. Cool.